English opening, Anglo-Indian, Hedgehog, Queen's Indian Formation, 4.G3BB75.BG2B76.0000. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than Black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. E6 controls the d5 and f5 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This exchange is fair. Takes back. This threatens to kick a knight. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. This permits the opponent to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This protects a weak piece by trapping one of its assailants. It is ideal. This defends a knight who is being attacked and is not well defended. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This prevents the adversary from winning a bishop. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This may succeed in winning a bishop. That's good. This makes it impossible for the adversary to win a bishop. That's good. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This overlooks a more effective approach to kick a knight. It is incorrect. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. This let the adversary could threaten a queen and win a tempo. It is incorrect. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. This requires an open file a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. 
there were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. That falls flat. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. It's all right. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to capture an outpost using a knight. It is incorrect. This raises the possibility of exposing an assault on a queen while also deterring the king. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This poses a queen winning danger. It is incorrect. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This raises the possibility of exposing an assault on a queen while also deterring the king. It is incorrect. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well.